Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about teeth and mechanical digestion. Now it's a very very small topic that is included in the IGCC syllabus, so this video really is tailored to those studying the IGCC biology specification and it's particularly uh, relevant to the human digestion topic. Now when we think about mechanical digestion, we're talking ultimately about the breakdown of food into smaller pieces without chemical changes occurring to the food molecules. Those chemical changes ultimately occur through chemical digestion and the breakdown using enzymes. That is not the case with this. Mechanical digestion is simply the breakdown of food into smaller pieces using teeth, really, the actual mechanical actions of breaking that food down. Now, to do this particular video, what I've got are two tasks that I give my own students that ultimately I'm going to talk through as part of this video to explain this information about the teeth. So let's start at the beginning. So task one, what I ask the students to do first of all is acknowledge which teeth are which. And we've got a diagram here and we can see that it's not labelled but we've got some incisors, canines, premolars and molars there. And I ask them to colour them in, so colour in the main four types of teeth, map it to the picture on the left and suggest what each one does. So let's just put that into place now. So let's put the incisors in place. So for incisors, we're going to, I'm going to use a particular red colour. I'm just going to show you these very, very roughly. So our incisors really, and we're thinking about upper jaw at the top, lower jaw at the bottom. So these top four here, these top four teeth that I'm just showing in, these are our incisors here. And equally, the bottom four are incisors here. Now, you would be asked in the specification to identify the different types of teeth. Hence why I asked this as our particular first task. So we've identified which are incisors, and we'll talk about the role of those in a moment. Let's put in place our canines. So the canines we're going to just do in, shade that roughly into blue. So the canines are at the side of the incisors. So we're talking these two here at the top and the two here on the bottom of the lower jaw. So now I've got those in place. What we have to do is work out where the molars and the premolars are. So our premolars, and we'll do these in green, our premolars are the two next to the canines. I say two. Typical adult um, has, if we count up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 to 16 in teeth in the upper and the lower jaw. That's typical, between about 14 and 16. So in this diagram, our premolars, these two here, to here and we can label them in here, which leaves finally our molars. And you can see just on this diagram here, these are much bigger teeth, and these would therefore be these four remaining on the lower jaw. And these four on the upper jaw. So this is one that it really is, you just have to remember the location of these teeth. I have seen multiple choice papers, if we think about the IGC specification, where they will give you this diagram and simply put an arrow to one type of tooth saying, what is this? And you would have to know that is our incisor. So there's a reflect of the teeth that are involved in this mechanical digestion. And use the two. So let's look at these types of four. The incisors, these ones, are designed to nip and cut food. They're not really to nip and cut food. Not amazingly sharp and not really used to break the food down, but they help to nip and cut. It's our canines which are a lot sharper, and these are the ones that will rip and tear our food. Now the molars and premolars do very, very similar types of job. So we've got chew food and grind food. 
Now molars tend to be involved in grinding up the food and our premolars will help us chew the food. So we've got four basic jobs there, nipping and cutting the food, ripping and tearing it, chewing it and grinding it. But to be honest, the chewing and grinding, premolars and molars do fairly similar jobs. They almost do sort of a bit of both. So that is task one that I asked my students to identify the teeth in the upper and lower jaw on a diagram. So that, as I said, if they are asked which one is the top tooth or, for example, which one is one a bit further deeper into the mouth, they're able to identify it. Let's move to task two. Now in task two, what I asked students is to identify the parts that make up the structure of the tooth. They're not asked in the syllabus to identify kind of the role or any other detail other than the name of which bit is which. So let's put these in place. So the dentine. The dentine ultimately is this inner part here. This is our dentine and we can see around the dentine, so where I'm just drawing this asterisk, that would be, let's call that enamel. So we've got the enamel, the top, surrounding our dentine. This inner region here, if we just colour this in blue, if I just draw a few lines to show which bit I'm referring to, this region here, that is known as the pulp, particularly sensitive region of the tooth. And the reason why it's sensitive is because, if we were to label again, these particular nerves and blood vessels, they are found within that pulp. So that leaves us to the cement and the gums. Now the cement is the name given to the sort of bottom part of our dentine. So sort of this region here, if I just shade it in a slight yellow, That region is what we know as the cement. So our gum, therefore, is what's left over in this picture, which is this portion here. So clearly the out, outside area. That represents our gum. So there we have a very simple picture to represent the anatomy and structure of the tooth. We've got the enamel, bit deeper we have the dentine then the pulp with the nerve and blood vessels the cement at the bottom and the gums around the tooth so we've looked at the position of the teeth in the mouth but now we've looked at also the structure of the tooth now the only other region or area in the syllabus that you have to be aware of regards to teeth is about this it is plaque different to an atheroma plaque that you find in the heart. This is a tooth kind of plaque. Now plaque is a sticky coating made from leftover food particles, saliva and bacteria. So we're just going to make a little note of that because this is a really important part to this topic. So it's a sticky coating made from, and we suggested a few things here, so leftover, you can see why it's really important to clean your teeth, leftover food particles, also saliva, and really key, bacteria. So this yellowish plaque that you can see on teeth, so it looks a bit like if you're looking up this tooth on the top, you might see certain areas down the side that have this kind of yellowing. You can get them on any kind of region, particularly down the side of the tooth here. So the yellow sort of discoloration that you see is this plaque that we're talking about. This sticky coating made from leftover bacteria, food particles and saliva. Now it's really important because bacteria respire the sugars that are left over on the teeth. And when they do, they produce acid, which would attack and dissolve the enamel and the dentin. Now this can create holes or cavities in the teeth, leading to not only tooth decay, but increased risk of infection and gum disease. So let's just make a note of that. That's really really key. So bacteria 
respire the food, or more specifically, respire the sugar. And what they do is release acid. Now that acid, as I said, will start to dissolve at the top, dissolve this enamel region, and also dissolve the dentine, and it leads to holes, cavities, tooth decay and an increased risk of infection and gum disease. So that's why it's really important to clean your teeth and toothpaste usually will be with an alkaline substance deliberately to neutralise the acid. So if you clean your teeth, not only are you removing the bacteria so you'll have less bacteria, but you'll also prevent acid from being formed in the first place. So there we have a little bit about uh, teeth and tooth decay in terms of where they are in the mouth, the general anatomy, a little bit about plaque or tooth plaque that you get over teeth from leftover food particles, saliva and bacteria. Okay, hope all that helps.